Hey everyone, welcome back. It's great to see you. I hope you've had a good couple of weeks. As you can probably see behind me, it's not really ideal weather to get out there and give you a uh, full pond and bonsai update, but we'll have a quick check in on them in a second. I just want to say before we get started, if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button as well next to it. It really does help to keep me motivated and keep bringing you these videos and it really does mean the world to me. I know I keep harping on about it, but with that over and done with, in this video, we're just gonna have a quick check in on what's going on out there and then we're mainly gonna be focusing inside on setting up a couple of new tanks that we just acquired and a quick check in on the koi fry. So I hope you enjoy the update everyone and thanks for watching. Still has to finish clearing and get up to temperature, but there you go. Quick, look at, quick little aquascape for you guys. Let's see, I'll send some pictures once it's clear and there's fish in it. But hope you like that. And thanks Reefer for the tank and the battleship. One tank finish and escaped. Hope you like what we've done. We've had yet more guppy babies since putting them in here. So I'll show you what I'm doing with the divided tank in one second. But very happy with how this turned out. Thank you so much for the tanks, mate. So I've got the three foot divided tank cleaned and ready to go. Just making a temporary, temporary stand for it using these two pallets, which isn't ideal, but it'll do for now. So I've just cut them down to the correct width. Just adding a final few screws to screw the pallets together, sand off the rough corners, and then on to the next step. rudimentary tank stand finish then just put loads of screws in it to make sure it's nice and secure it's nothing fancy pretty ugly but it'll do the job for now so now I just need to go and put this in the garden room put the tank in there so that is the tank and the base in place level enough for what we need a little bit more cleaning to do We've just got to block this hole which we're about to do and then after another clean she's good to go so we abandoned the bottom drain idea temporarily a few days ago and we added just a plate to block up the hole silicone in place that's had a few days to go off now and we checked that it's watertight. So we've got all the bits here. We're just about to start aquascaping and putting in the hardware, things like the sponge filters and stuff. But that'll be the next step. So that's the backdrop on well enough. It's not on perfectly, but it'll do. So on to the next bit. Got a nice load of aquarium plants and aquatic plants to go in there, nice mix of them to use for aquascaping. And Rugrat is just starting on one of those scapes now. My next job is to sort out the air pump and the sponge filters. So I'll just get on and start doing that. So it's a bit of a mess here, but excuse that. We've got Three of them scaped so far, ready to go. 
and we're keeping them damped down just using this bottle of spray water to keep everything damp whilst we're working but we want to escape all five of them so we're just working on this one and then we'll do the last one before we fill it with water um, so that we're not mucking around when it's full of water but that's where we are at the moment and we shall continue and get these last two scapes done and then I'll show you them all a bit better when it's got some water in it. Oh, I should add as well, we've added sponge filters are now all plumbed in and ready to go. Set up onto a new air pump that's a nice big heavy duty air pump, ready to do it. So that is the water in there, filled for the first time. We'll probably take it up a few more centimetres up to about here in a day or two. Just once everything's settled in and it's happy and I made sure it's all good. But let's just have a quick look at each of the actual scapes. So we're thinking of putting some shrimp in this end one. And we got this one. Which has some sort of duckweed on the top. I can probably tell you the correct name for that. Just have to find the tag. set up and working nicely. Just got to filter through and clear up a bit. Hope you like that. Gonna leave it now to cycle for a few days before we add any fish. As I say, we just got simple sponge filter set up on each of the bays, each of the divides. That goes into an Eheim Air 400, which just comes up to two manifolds to regulate the airflow to each one with the sponge filters. That's worked out quite neat and tightly. Shame I didn't quite have enough white tubing though, that's the only downside. Other than that, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. So the tank has been cycling and coming up to temperature for about 24 hours now. It's getting there, all looking good. Got a couple more lights arriving because I'm a bit short on lights around the place and I'm not overly happy with these ones considering that that is not white light, that is blue light, especially when you compare it to that one. So we've just swapped this tank, which had the leftover plants in and used to be the guppy tank for this tank over here, which we're about to aquascape and just leave as a cold water tank for any leftover plants and to keep plants growing in them that aren't in the other two tanks at the moment. Been a little while since we checked in on the community tank indoors, but it's all doing well here. We have a couple of new additions. We have a female Siamese fighter fish or be beta fish. She's very beautiful. Thank you to Jack the Balding Reefer for her. And there's also a couple of plex in here that we got, but they're obviously hiding away and not the easiest things to spot, but they're doing fine and happy and everything going well in here. I would film a garden update and a garden and pond update, but this is pretty much how it's going. 
at the moment. Rain, hail and thunderstorms, pretty heavy. But the koi are all doing okay and the bonsai and plants are all doing okay but I'm not going out there to get soaked and show you when there's stuff that we can be doing in the dry in here, notably these three nice tanks. The last piece of the puzzle, which I didn't want to have to order but have had to order, has now arrived so I'll just get these unboxed and set up on the two aquariums and then we'll talk you through them. So these are the nice aquarium lights that I like, hopefully not as bad as these bluish looking ones. They, they look more white on camera than they are. They're really quite blue, those ones, but I like these ones. So simply in both boxes, there's just two different sizes here. So you get your power lead. Your light stick and two suckers. It's just a small one. And a remote to control it with, which we don't actually need because we have two running on that tank over there already and they all run on the same remote. So I'll just get this unboxed. I'll get the other one unboxed, get these set up on the two tanks. The small one is going on that planted tank and the larger of the two is coming along the front of this tank here. So I'll just get on and do that now. So that is both lights installed. It's the next morning now, so I just added a picture when it was dark so you could see exactly what they do. Might be slightly overkill on the lights on this aquarium, but as I said, I didn't wanna, I didn't like the fact that it was just a blue light on it before, and this new one really does add a lot of white light into it, so quickly then just talk through what we've got going on so in this first one we've got the baby baby guppies the really small newborns you can just about see around in there and then hello Tinkerbell then in this next um, section we've got the babies that are a bit bigger but are still a little bit young for us to sex but as soon as we can sex them they move on into one of these two divides which is the male guppies some of which have really got some nice color on them now if I can get the camera to focus looking absolutely stunning the color on them, some of those guppies then we got the female guppies and then we got the three big mama guppies in there so that's how this setup has turned out now Bambi aquascaped three of the sections on this one I aquascaped two of the sections on this one see if you can guess down in the comments who did which ones and we'll see if anyone can get that right and then onto this tank which we really didn't spend much time at all on we just chucked the leftover plants and any plants that are gonna any cuttings that we get are gonna go in this one um yeah so we just chucked some gravel and some growth media and plants in that one leaving that as a cold water may add some danios or something I'm not really sure yet This is the two foot by one and a half foot, I think it is, tank. Now it's had a chance to clear and cycle for a few days. I haven't fully decided what we're going to put in this tank yet. Um, thinking of maybe putting the koi fry in here for a little bit, but I haven't decided yet. Um, just a couple of guppies in here that we haven't managed to get out into the divided tank yet. Just helping to cycle it a little bit, but more than happy with how this scape turned out. 
Shop's going a little bit for kind of like a natural ship graveyard. I think we've achieved that fairly well. Maybe a little bit too much going on, but quite happy with it for now. We can always rescape it in the future. We are just about to tr start transferring the koi fry over into this heated tank. Just got to bag them up and acclimatize them into this tank, but I'll get back to you once we've done that. So that is all the koi fry in this pot. They've been acclimatizing for about half an hour now. So they're both at the same temperature. So now it's time for Bambi to release them into the tank. They're all doing very well as you can see. Look at the baby one. Look at the baby one. That's just some leftover brine shrimp that's left in the bottom of that pot, so it's basically just food. Nothing that's going to be particularly bad for them. But just let them go out in their own time into their new home for the next few weeks. That is all the koi fry happily ensconced in this tank for now then. Quite hard to see at the moment but plenty of space for them to grow for now and easier for us to maintain and keep track of them and give you updates on them. But very happy with how that's turned out. There we have it then, that's this tank, um, that tank and that tank at Cuscate. I hope you enjoyed the video and the process that we went through to do it. All that's left to be said then is if you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button as well next to it. Go on, you're here now, you may as well join the family. I'll see you in the next one everyone, take care.